You can go for it. Testing, testing. How's everybody tonight? All right. All right, my name is Trent Willis. I'm a representative from the International Longshore and Warehouse Union, Woo! Local 10. We came here tonight to lend our solidarity to the teachers in Oakland. I want to personally commend these two brothers here for making the, taking the ultimate sacrifice to defend children in our communities. And I heard something earlier where we talked about communities all across this nation. We talked about Marin City, we talked about Chicago. So we know that this problem happening here in Oakland is not unique to Oakland. But the one thing that all of these issues have in common is there's, a, there's either a billionaire or some billionaires who are trying to gentrify the area and buy up all of the land and control all of the schools and make all of the money. Okay, now the one thing that we need to understand is what gentrifying and privatizing add up to. Gentrifying and privatizing add up to a widening of the wealth gap. And that's what's going on in this country. The wealth gap is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because the purpose is to eliminate the middle class. Because when you have people that are middle class, those people are able to take care of their children, they're able to pay taxes, and then those tax dollars are supposed to go into the public schools That's right. to improve the public schools. What our schools need in Oakland, our schools need investment from the city, not closures. Now, the reason we're here today, because the ILWU has understood this since the 1930s. We understand that gentrification disproportionately affects the black and brown community. Okay. All of the cities that we talked about earlier are all black and brown communities. All of the schools that are set for closure are in black and brown communities because black and brown people are always disproportionately negatively affected. Now, the ILWU is against the proposed ballpark at Howard Terminal. We're absolutely against that. It's another form of privatizing and it's another form of gentrifying. Okay? We have good union paying jobs down on the waterfront that black and brown people, myself, occupy right now. Those jobs raised me and it raised my brothers and sisters. So when you talk about gentrifying and you talk about the fact that the gentrification going on on the waterfront and the gentrification going on in your schools is being perpetrated by the same billionaire, the same one, John Fisher and his family. They profitize off of chartered schools. The Fisher family is connected to Mayor Libby Schaaf. Now, you said there were, I believe they said there were four schools slated for, for, uh, for closure right now. Okay, well, I read an article where Mayor Libby Schaaf was quoted saying that she would like to close more, up to 40. Okay, so in closing, I just wanted to say that we had a, we had a rally in front of City Hall today, and we're a union that's about action, if you haven't heard. So today, in support of the teachers, we decided we wasn't going to work, and we wasn't moving the cargo for these billionaires. You know what else we decided to do? We decided to dedicate the night where we usually have our union meeting. We're not working tonight either. Okay? 
And that's just the first shot over the bow. Okay, because we affect business at the point of contact. That's right. These black and brown people whose children go to those schools. Okay, and we'll be damned if we continue to make these billionaires money while they close our kids' schools down. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. My time is up. I want all of the teachers to know in the OEA and these very brave brothers here to know that you will always have the support of the International Longshore and Warehouse Union Local 10. Thank you very much. My name is Jack Heyman. I'm a retired member of the ILW Local 10. I just want to leave you with this. What Trent was talking about action, that's the only way we're going to win this struggle because your fight is our fight. We're fighting against privatization in the port. You're fighting against it here in the schools. And if the fight is against cuts and closures and privatization, that's our fight too. We're the one union in the Bay Area that has worked together for solidarity actions for the teachers. During the Iraq War, your union, led by Betty Olson Jones, came down to the docks. You put up a picket line and the sign said, no more money for the war, war for this, uh, money for schools. And we honored the picket line and we shut the port down that day. That's the kind of action we need to build for you to win your struggle and us to win our struggle. Ultimately, we need to bring the rest of the labor movement in. This is a strike for all of us. And that, if it comes to this, we need to have a general strike here in Oakland to set it straight. Thank you very much.